How you doing? Thank you for tuning in to this here video presentation by Mr. Larry Whittington, or as he want to be known, Mr. Witt. Mr. Whittington's know all about mathematics, and that is why he founded the Fort Bend Tutorings. Today we're going to learn about word problems. Not the kind where you curse people out, but the mathematical kinds. The kind I don't be understanding at all. All right, get your ink pen and your pencil ready. Take notes, because you finna learn from Mr. Witt. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Witt with Fort Bend Tutoring and today's tutorial is going to be over consecutive even integer word problems, alright? This is going to be our third word problem video to you and we have many more to come, so let's check and see what we have in problem number one. Alright, that kind of rhymed, but I didn't mean to. But anyway, the problem that we have for you today is find three consecutive even integers whose sum is 84. When setting up consecutive even integers or odd integers, it's going to be the exact same setup every single time. Why? Because even and odd numbers are two places away from one another. In other words, if I'm looking at odd numbers, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, they're all two places away from one another. The same thing applies to even numbers. 2, 4, 6, and 8 are all two numbers from one another. So therefore, the setup for each of these problems are going to be identical to one another. Keep that in mind when setting up either consecutive even integers or consecutive odd integers. The next thing to keep in mind is when possible, you're always trying to create one equation using only one variable. So you definitely want to just keep things simple if you can. All right, so let's do just that. So in problem number one, we're asked to find three consecutive even integers whose sum is 84. I'm going to start out knowing that my first number, I don't know what it is. So that's going to be my variable. So I'm going to say the first number is x. That's my variable x. The second number is going to be two places from that. So it'll be x plus 2. The third consecutive even integer is going to be four places from my original number. So that value is going to be x plus 4. So the first thing we do always is define our numbers, and that's what I did. I said I don't know what the first number is, but I do know the second number is two places from that, and that the third number would be four places from that as well. So from there, we're going to set up our equation now. And the equation is going to be all three of these values added together. So the equation looks just like this. It'll be x, that's the first number, plus x plus 2, the second number, plus x plus 4, the third number, which all has to equal to 84. Once I have my equation set up, we can then go ahead and solve for the variable by combining like terms and isolating the variable. So I have 1, 2, 3 x's, so I end up with 3x plus 2 plus 4, which gives me 6, and that will equal to 84. Once I have this set up, I can then isolate the term with the variable by subtracting 6 to both sides. Once I've done that, I can bring down my variable 3x, which equals to 84 minus 6, and that gives me 78. Then I'll be dividing both sides by 3, and x will equal to 26. So now that I have this, ladies and gentlemen, I know that my first even number is going to be 26. So x equals to 26. Then to get the next number, I add 2 to 26 to get 28. And then adding 4 to 26, that gives me a result of 30. So now, if you wanted to check this to see if it's correct, you can simply add 26 plus 28 plus 30 to see if it equals to 84. I know that 26 plus 28 gives me 54, and then 54 plus 30 gives me 84, so that works just fine. So those are your solutions, ladies and gentlemen. 26, 28, and 30. And that's the solution to problem number one. All right. In our next problem, problem number two, we have the sum of three consecutive even integers is 50 more than the third integer. Find the integers. So once again, I'm dealing with three consecutive even integers. So that means I'm going to be setting this up like so, knowing that the first number is an unknown value to me. I don't know what that is. And then the second number is going to be two places from that original number. So that'll be x plus 2. When I get to my third value, it'll be four places from the original number. So that's going to be x plus 4, just like that. Then I'm going to follow along with what they are saying that this is going to equal to. They said that the sum of the three consecutive even integers is 50 more than the third integer. So my setup here is going to be x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 
adding those three consecutive even integers together, and it says that it's going to be 50 more than the third integer. Well, my third integer is x plus 4, and I need to add 50 to that so that things balance out. And that's because in our word problem, it said that the sum of the three consecutive even integers is 50 more than the third integer, and that's why I set it up as x plus 4 plus 50. All right, now I want to solve for the equation. So that means I'll be starting out by combining like terms. So 1x plus 1x plus 1x, that gives me 3x plus 2 plus 4, which is still 6. And then on the right side of that equal sign, I'll bring down my x, and then 4 plus 50 equals to 54. From there, I'll be subtracting x to both sides of the equal sign. This gives me 2x plus 6, which equals to 54. And then I'll be solving for the term with a variable by subtracting 6 to both sides. This gives me 2x, which equals to 54 minus 6, which is going to give me 48. And then I would need to divide both sides by 2. All right, so dividing both sides by 2 here, I'll end up with x equaling to 24, just like that. So I know my variable x equals to 24. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up by saying x equals to 24. And then 24 plus 2, that gives me 26. And adding 24 plus 4, that gives me 28. And these will be my three consecutive integers such that the sum of these three consecutive integers would be 50 more than the third integer. All right, and those are my solutions, ladies and gentlemen. Done and done. Just like that. In problem number three, we have the following word problem. It says to find three consecutive even integers if the first is two-fifths of their sum. So what we want to do is the following, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go ahead and find these three consecutive even integers by labeling the three integers first. So we don't know what this first value is. So that's my variable x. The second value is going to be two more than the first one. So it'll be x plus 2. My third consecutive even integer is going to be x plus 4 because it's four places from the original value. From there, I want to go back to this word problem. It says to find three consecutive even integers if the first is two-fifths of the sum of those three consecutive even integers. So what I want to do here, ladies and gentlemen, is I want to say that the first, which is x, has to equal to two-fifths of the sum of these three integers. So that means that inside of my parentheses here, I'll have x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4. So that's going to be my setup. So once again, it said if the first, meaning that x value there, is, is the equal sign, two-fifths the sum of the three consecutive integers, which is x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4. From there, I want to solve this equation. So I'm going to first of all start within the parentheses by combining these like terms here. And I have 1, 2, 3x's, so that gives me 3x plus 2 plus 4 is always 6. So thus far I have x equals to 2 fifths times 3x plus 6. From there, I'm going to get rid of this fraction here by multiplying both sides of the equation by 5. So this will be 5x, and this will be 5 times 2 fifths times this 3x plus 6. Simplifying my right side, my 5's will cancel out. And then I'll be bringing down 5x, which now equals to 2 times the quantity of 3x plus 6. From here, we can go ahead and distribute the 2. And once I do that, by the way, I got my arrows popping on that, I'll end up with 5x equals to 6x plus 12. Next, I'll be subtracting 6x to both sides. And this gives me a result of, after I go ahead and line that up there, I'll end up with negative x equals to positive 12. So I'm going to now divide both sides by negative 1. That's going to change the sign on that variable to give me x equals to negative 12. So negative 12 is my value of x, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go back to our original setup here. I found out that x equals to negative 12. Going to the next consecutive even integer, that'll be negative 12 plus 2, which is going to be negative 10. And then negative 12 plus 4, that gives me a result of negative 8. So it's these three consecutive even integers that will be the solution to this problem here. Negative 12, negative 10, and negative 8. And of course, you can always plug these values back in to see if it meets the condition. We do know, ladies and gentlemen, that our first value is negative 12. If I were to combine these three values together, you would end up with negative 30. Then 
if I were to multiply 2 fifths times negative 30, let's see what happens here. 5 goes into the 30 6 times, so this is now 2 times negative 6, so this verifies that negative 12, the solution, would be the exact same as that first value there, negative 12. So that confirms and verifies that we have our answer correct. So you can always plug in your results to verify that your solution matches your word problems instructions. All right, and that's it for problem number three, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Moving along, I have one last problem for you for this lesson here. And in problem number four, our word problem reads, when the sum of four consecutive even integers is divided by seven, the result is four. Find these integers. All right, so let's do just that. First of all, we have four consecutive even integers in this problem. So the first one is an unknown value. I don't know what it is. My second consecutive even number is going to be two more than my first. So that means I'll have it set up as x plus two. The third consecutive even integer will be x plus four. And then my fourth consecutive even integer is going to be x plus six. All right. Now, our word problem says that when the sum of four consecutive even integers is divided by seven, the result is four. Well, that means we can set it up this way. Let's see what we can do here. We can say that the sum, adding all these together, which is going to be x plus x plus two plus x plus four plus x plus six is divided by seven, we know the result will equal to four. All right, so that's my equation, ladies and gentlemen. From there, I'm going to simplify this. So I have one, two, three, four x's in the numerator. So that'll be 4x plus, then adding 2 plus 4 plus 6, that gives me 12. All of that is going to be over 7, and it still equals to 4. What we can do from here in order to get rid of this denominator is multiply both sides by 7. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. When possible, I get rid of fractions, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know. So on the left side of the equation, my 7s will cancel out. I'll be bringing down 4x plus 12, which equals to 4 times 7, which is 28. Isolating my variable, I'm going to subtract 12 to both sides. 12s will cancel out. I bring down 4x, which now equals to 16. I'm going to then divide both sides by 4. All right, so by doing that, I'll end up with x equals to 4. So that's going to be the answer for the variable x. That means that my first even integer is going to be 4. The second one will be 6. The third one will be 8. And then the fourth one will be 10. And these will be my solutions, ladies and gentlemen just like that. All right, so let's go ahead and verify that 4, 6, 8, and 10 are the answers here. If I were to add these together, 4 plus 6 is 10, 10 plus 8 is 18, 18 plus 10 is going to be 28. If I'm to divide that by 7, 28 divided by 7, I do get a result of 4, and that means that this is the answer to our problem, ladies and gentlemen. And by the way, this is the answer to the final problem of today's lesson the consecutive even integer word problems. So once again, this is Mr. Witt with Fort Bend Tutoring. As always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you're able, please donate. Peace. We're going to be learning about such things as linear, quadratics, system of equations, tables, mixtures, work, oh Lord, distance, interest, of which I don't have much, investment this is my favorite one i'm gonna name my grandbaby consecutive integers <laughs> algebraic translations and percents i understand a little bit about my sense i know that 50 percent off is pretty good <laughs> <laughs>